Once we've worked out an equation for an area relationship, we can use it for a conversion factor when we want to convert area units. For example, let's say we have a piece of land that is 6 kilometers by 3 kilometers. We can use the formula area equals length times width to calculate the area in square kilometers. The length is 6 kilometers and the width is 3 kilometers. So the area is 18 square kilometers. Let's say we want to convert our area in square kilometers to an area in square meters. We can use the relationship which states that 1 kilometer squared is equal to 10 to the 6th meters squared. We'll take our 18 kilometers squared and multiply it by a conversion factor based on the relationship between kilometers squared and meters squared. It is 10 to the 6 meters squared per 1 kilometer squared. Kilometers squared can be cancelled. We multiply 18 times 10 to the 6 meters squared to get 18 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. And changing it to correct scientific notation gives us 1.8 times 10 to the 7th meters squared. So now we can state that the area of this piece of land is 1.8 times 10 to the 7th square meters. This is the same as 18 million square meters. Let's do one more example. We have a rectangle with an area of 32.28 square feet. And we want to convert its area to square meters. We can use the relationship that 1 meter squared is equal to 10.76 feet squared to make a conversion factor. We'll start with 32.28 feet squared and multiply it by the conversion factor 1 meter squared over 10.76 feet squared. We can cancel out the units feet squared. And dividing 32.28 by 10.76 gives us 3 meters squared. So we can say the area of this rectangle is 3 square meters. Starting with length relationships, we can derive and use area relationships like these to convert any areas we need to.